Wait, one second, making sure I'm recording that. Should be recording now. Wait one second while I turn down the audio because it's really blowing my ears. I cannot get it to turn down. Oh, there we go. Finally, it takes holding it in. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, but hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe and hello and welcome back to Random Games Ram Days. In today's episode we're playing Last Broadcast. I'm going into this completely blind, so we'll see what we can get up to. Let's see, I tell you, let's see. Oh. I'll put that to the side, sorry. I just realised that, uh, wait one second. So, I picked up a, I'll get to that in a second. I picked up a pump and feed for uh, food for orchids, so I could feed my plants. And I left uh, the plastic bit on the desk that stops it from, you know, going down the squishy stuff. So that's actually, you know, not too bad. At least people can't do, it, you know, the pressy button. This is gonna go up on the wall. In the shop. This DJ. is gonna go up on the wall. Ah yes. Is this also going to go up on the wall? No? Okay. I'm trying to get to whatever that is. To-do to list. Play re records. Talk to callers. Finish my college. College? Yeah, college. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Like, I'm going into this completely blind. Oh, it's September. You know what? It's... What, what day is it today? It's the 12th now, yeah. So 12th of September now. This person has nothing going on in the 12th of September. Oh, is that on the ground? Go up on the wall. Yeah. Why? Why do I have a? Is the world burning? Is it the Californian fires again? Uh. Or the Canadian wildfires? Terrible stuff, I tell you. Terrible stuff. That's pretty cool. I can't really get it to, uh... Ah, there we go. Uh, just put that back down. Before I mess up something. Oh, it's a little tiny uh, door stopper. Oh, there's a duck. Why would you put that in here? This is gonna go up on the wall. Yeah, obviously everything's gonna go up on your wall. This is gonna go up on the wall. Wait, what did I say? Did that say something about extinction? This is gonna go up on the wall. Everything's gotta go up on the wall, DJ. I think 20% of your room is going up on the wall. This is gonna go up on the wall. Oh, I wish I read that before picking up. Rise and invite to my little fortress. This is gonna go up on the wall. So, is something wrong with the environment out there? Last broad. Oh. The last broadcast, it's his name. There we go, I'll put everything up on the wall. You know what, I'll put these ones more uh, closer to ground level. So I can read them. Rip. This is actually very cool. This is very cool, I quite enjoy this. Plant species extinction? Then how how is this guy still alive then if there's no plants left? That that's something I've noticed. In his apartment there is nothing alive. Apart from them. This is gonna go up on the wall. Ah, oh, everything's gonna go up on the wall with you. There we go, just put that there. But each of them are kind of representing something like, you know, emptiness, darkness, a light of hope, people's brains being brain dead, jar, and brain in a jar. Sorry, I thought I heard a footstep behind me there. Rest in peace. Plant species extinction, temperature reach all time high. Still in the longest drought of the century. How long can we go without rain? Probably not very long, unless we were able to drill into the air for water resources. We would probably have at least maybe five years. Maybe. 
no, no matter if go you tried to, you know, minimize humanity, it was still dying and... Uh, options? Yeah. Can I crouch? That is a real question. Because it looks like that's pickable, but I just can't pick it up. Bada bing, bada boom, music color, stupid college. Sounds like, you know, <laughs> magic spell. Magic boom, mad, mad college. Kaboom. Uh, uh, no, I think they're not uh, pickables. But each of them are kind of very abstract. That's all I will say. They're very abstract and like, you know, life and death. Kind of just blocking out the outside. We have pictures of trees. Pictures of snow. And this... The extinction of plants! This plant species is dead! No, that's just made up plastic. This is gonna go up on the wall. Yeah, everything's gonna go up on the wall. Soon you'll be going up on the wall. Sunset happening later than expected. Yep. Slowly, but surely. This is gonna go up on the wall. I like a lot of the designs around here. Quite cute. Though it's the end of the world. This is gonna go up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? Everything's going up on the wall. Even the wall is going up on the wall. So basically when I looked out there and said, you know, about the California wildfires, I was right. The candle. Glasses. Sunglasses to be more exact so you can actually look outside. Binoculars, seeing what's left of the town down below. Just run your station. Music, calorie, callers, not calories. Callers, therapy, college. I still have some stuff to do. Like organizing this wall. There we go. Could block out what's on the outside, I tell you. And put that over there. That can go there. These can go here. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess that's really all. Do things. Do the things. Music color, stupid college sings. Don't know why we need so many store stuff. Pick it up. This is finally. Up on the wall. Yeah, so there's stuff that I can pick up on. Floor. I have to go like fully on top of it. The Eye of Sauron. <laughs> yeah. The DJ is in. I guess it's time to pick up the call that took me. This well, is gonna that's, go that's going up on the wall. <laughs> Can't do that. This has got to go up on the wall. Literal wall. It's going up on the wall. 
Uh, fine. Remember to stay cool, listeners. Water and a nice fan should help ride out the heat wave. But enough about the weather. Let's take some calls. We're live on Smack Local with your host, DJ. Caller, please save me from myself. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. It's my first time calling for this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Gives me an excuse to nap during work hours. <laughs> well, it's kind of dumb, but I broke one of my roommate's plates while they were out. Sorry, I'm just right, what's special about them? Are they family heirlooms? Tell them that you broke them. You sound like you feel guilty. Might as well tell them then. I do. But what if they get mad? Hey, buddy. They're gonna find out sooner or later. Trying to hide it will just piss them off more. That, that's kind of understandable. You're right, DJ. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it a bit more and then figure out what to do. Okay. Seems reasonable. Just doing my job. Hope your little plate predicaments get fixed. <laughs> Me too. See ya, DJ. I'll be sure to tune in more in the future. We've been hearing callers for a bit. We'll take a break and enjoy some music. We have some good ones on the way. Okay. Come on, let me pick up whatever that is. I guess I have picked up everything I can now. Okay, I guess I'll go with this one. And it goes. You know what to do, I hope. Music callers, therapy college. Oh, do I have to start the thing? Hmm. I have nothing to add to it. So if it's not right. Is that the sun? I do really see in a red dwarf that's supposed to be hotter than any other sun. It's going towards there. I guess it's kind of accurate that we just fade in. While running, a show like any other, the sun turns red and fires break out and earthquakes trap you in the station. You're playing the moments before and after the end of the world. Take care, colors. to do, do the game's progress. But what remains is their last broadcast. What the f Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? I Sad that it does not I'm have face on here. it. I gotta get out. It would have been funny that, I tell you. Come on. Piece of... What's your language, my friend? Windows. Goddamn soundproof glass. Out of my pocket. Out of my goddamn pocket. Probably better to go for the wall. I wanted to do a show before I went out. The radio. Hello, police? I'm stuck in the WDFA radio station. It's about an hour out of town. I need... Well, shit. <laughs> I guess that's it.
No one would rescue. No one should rescue. No one should rescue. No one would rescue. Yeah, that's an hour out of town for one person in an impenetrable radio station. That's a waste of any qualified person's resources. Probably. I'm gonna die and a recording booth will be my coffin. Well, it's better than, you know, a toilet. I think I'm dealing with this pretty well, frankly. Very healthy, DJ. Very healthy. How long do I got? Sad to Long enough for a you know. show, don't you think? One last radio show for the end of the world? I've been on air this whole time. Looks like it's fate. Well, listeners, if there are any, we are taking callers. Come on, humor me. Are the phone lines even operating? That's my real question. Would the phone lines actually be operating? Also, what was the point of me going and picking up all this stuff? If, you know, if it was for nothing. And we're live. Thanks for calling during this fine afternoon. Please save me from myself. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Jim McGrady with the fire department. Communication lines have gone out, and we can't get through to the dispatcher. We need your help locating the fires. You need me to help direct? Sorry, but I think you called the wrong line. I'm completely unqualified. I'm sorry for putting you in this situation, but we're in a crisis. Your help would be invaluable. Don't wanna sing this up. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd hate to screw things up. I'll be here the whole time to guide you. But if this is too much, I understand. I, you know what? This is the end of the world. Who cares? How do I get started? Your station is up on a hill, right? If you can find a large window facing town, that would be great. Looks like we're in luck. Excellent. Next, do you have any binoculars or anything similar? Yeah. Yep, they're right here. Awesome. You're doing great. Okay, now, is there something you can see out your window? You should take a close look around. Okay. You know what, it kind of reminds me of ancient Japan, how they used to do the traditional very red suns. Or Legend of Zelda. You know that one that I'm thinking of. The moon coming hey Jim, down. you got anything yet? They're still looking. Oh great, they agreed to help. Thanks DJ, you're the best. The name's Amina, and you can count me as a fan. Assad, this is no time for jokes. You're distracting them. This guy sounds so unofficial. Make a joke. I appreciate the thought, but don't deprive me of the chance of meeting my fans. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Captain. Just because everything sucks doesn't mean we have to feel like trash the whole time. Regardless, we appreciate your assistance, DJ. If you don't mind, we'd like to give you our phone numbers for easier contact. Sure. I'm always down to change up the programming. Excellent. Have we, have we now got to say about that big smoke cloud? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. I think I see some smoke near the east side of town. Can you be more specific? What landmarks do you see? Neon sign? There's a big neon sign hanging off the building side. I think it's the downtown hotel. It doesn't look too bad, but there's definitely smoke. Oh, it's smoke. Understood. I'll dispatch C platoon immediately. Assad, come with me. McGrady, keep an eye on things here with DJ. Roger that. Oh, she's Amina. Understood. Oh, no, no, he's... He's McGrady. Hold on. I was trying to figure it out. You know what? It's fine. Ask if he's alright. Hey, Lieutenant McGrady, right? You're doing alright. 
I'm well enough to be on duty. Make a joke. And I know someone who got run over by a car and still showed up for work. <laughs> Fair. But really, I'm doing fine. But fine isn't good. Am I right or am I right? Yeah, that's quite true. You know, this is actually a quite Suppose interesting game for not. being a free game, I tell you. Well, maybe the demo you can't remember. caught me off guard. My wife used to ask me how I was doing whenever I got back from work. But it's been a while since anyone else has. Yeah. Understandable. That's nice. How's she doing? She's... I don't know. I haven't been home since all this started. God. I'm an awful... I miss her smile so much. I miss my son's hugs. Be kind. That's sweet. What's the ghetto's name? I bet he's a nice little guy. <laughs> yeah. My little boy, Jason. Well, not so little anymore. It's like I blinked one day and he wasn't a baby anymore. Yeah, that, that happens quite a lot. What's that like? Don't know many kids myself. It's... God. I hate to use this word, but... It's scary. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah? How so? Like... I don't want to like interrupt too much, I tell him you. Him growing up, and... What if I've been a bad father? He isn't a bad dad. Lieutenant, you aren't a bad dad. We've just met. How would you know? Call it my interviewer instinct. After so many guests on the show, I've become a pretty good judge of character. I've met some terrible parents in my life, and they don't talk about their kids the way you do. Yeah, that is quite true. I... Thank you, DJ. I love what I do. It's my duty to help people, and that's the example I want to set for my son. I hope... I hope that's how my son will remember me. That's a good, you know, thing to be remembered by. You're doing a better job than a lot of people. But sometimes... I just want to go home and be with my family again. Yeah, that's, that's how understandable could I, as well. How could I face my son... after knowingly abandoning people? Sympathize with him. That's really... I'm sorry you've been dealing with that, Jim. Take this with a grain of salt, but... If your father had been a firefighter, what would he have done? What would you have wanted him to do? What would I have wanted him to do? I th think I would have... Wanted him to be. I'll put there's a second fact. Hey, Lieutenant McGrady, right? I'm still a radio host, so we should talk about something, don't you think? Yeah, I think we better hurry because right. it's. Apologies for disrupting your work. So, is that a yes? I'm concerned that talking too much will distract us. Yeah, that's kind of fair. Lieutenant, I literally talk for a living. I'm sure you aren't so interesting that I'll forget how to stare out the window. Even still, we shouldn't be careless. Yeah. Alright, I get it. There's a time and place Hopefully for everything. Hopefully this does not explode, please. I just saw it from the side of my view. Please don't explode. Shit. Lieutenant, I think there's a fire. Yeah, there's definitely a fire. Wait, no. There's... One, two... Let me get the binoculars. Captain. Assad. Fire. Listen up. I spotted two fires. The first is at the Crow, Calloway, and Cine building. The other is in the East Elm Residential District. Two of them. CC&C looks like the entire thing is caved. Oh, shit! 
a big chunk just fell off. But there's a ton of burning houses in the neighborhood. I... I'm not sure which one is worse. It might be... Hmm. The one at East Elm. I... I don't know how to describe it, but it's bad. Real bad. Shoot. I hope everyone's alright. I wish we could be everywhere at the same time. I understand the situation is tense, but we can't afford to be distracted. We'll do our best to handle both. Okay. Understood. Thank you, DJ. We'll leave at once. Hey... Keep safe, all of you. And speaking of being late, Smack Local thanks Asteroid Limousines for offering the most reliable and timely chauffeurs in the business. Remember, it's prom night. Hmm. Make something up. Make something if you up. kids are wondering what you should do instead, every apocalypse movie has some suggestions. Wrap some barbed wire around a bat. Reject adult authority. Make an asteroid limousine your personal hellmobile. The world's ending. They'll be young forever! <laughs> uh, that's kind of like Mad Max and something else mixed together. Oh, I can actually move around again. I'm going to have to check that fuse box, aren't I? really out of the ordinary I should be doing. Can't go out that way. We're live on Smack Local with your host, DJ. Carla, please save me from myself. Hi, okay, listen. On. There's no one else in the house. I just need someone to be calm about this. I just need help. Oh, breathe. It's okay, we're here okay. for you. We're here for you. My fiance is not answering. I'm at home. I work from home. My anxiety, we decided. Um, but she isn't picking up. Ah. Uh, could be a problem. Camera down. Hey. Breathe, remember? I've got you. Everything's gonna be okay. You sounded just like her. Well, then she and I both have your back, okay? In addition to the love of your life, you've also got an unpopular radio personality who ignores anti smoking ads. <laughs> uh. It does make me feel better. Her name is Billy Casper. Yeah. I'm Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you could. I don't know why I called you. I'll just hang up. Keep on the line. No one's letting you hang up. Not me, not my listeners. We're all here at the end. Tell me where she works, and I'll personally make sure the Dalmatian dudes get her up. Firefighters? There's help, right? Now tell us exactly where she works. She's a consultant at Crow Calloway and Sunny. <sighs> ah, then let's call them right now, then. <sighs> I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Come on. That idiot better keep safe, right, guys? This is DJ. Jim said to pick up for you. Yeah. Why isn't he answering? Any number of reasons. Don't be alarmed. I have a woman whose fiancé works at the Crow Calloway and Cinna building. Her name is Billy Casper and she's missing. We'll do as much as we can. I hate that. Be empathetic. Be logical. 35 seconds ago, you had zero firefighters. I know that. I don't care. I want Billy back. Okay, now we need to count for her. Go for her. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. I want her to say that. 
Everyone, it seems like Lauren cares a lot about logistics, so let's review. One, we've got trained professionals. Two Zs, you're set safe at home. Three, that's it. That's the dream doomsday setup. I promise you'll be home soon. You're just a radio host. What do you know? Open up. I know what I'm talking about. You can't. Billy and I... You're special. I get it. I'm not making fun of you. You are. It's not just that you love each other. It's all the in-jokes could go away. She's a synonym of the odd nights of the week. Who would you cook her favorite rice pot for? Oh, God. Is there someone... You're stuck in that station. Don't talk about me. Be lighthearted. All I'm saying is it's a romance, listeners. Billy will be back. Believe me? No. But thank you. I like the little cows. And they look so I'll cute. wait. That's good. Listeners, we've now reached the part of the show where DJ plays you a song and gets to recharge for a moment. Here we go. Okay, I guess we get to play a uh, song. Lion Eyes, Luna. You know what? We'll go with this one. No, wait, I'll go with this one. Because I know if I go with this one and then go to the other one, it's probably got to be in that order that I should have played them. Is the sun going to come raising down? No? Okay. Expected it too. Guess not. Why do we need so much tissues? Amina. Hi. Updates. Give me updates. Oh, the smokes are done. It's not the best news, but is isn't bad. We rushed over as soon as we were finished with the residential area. We couldn't save everyone. Billy Casper. That's the thing. We found someone who recognized the name, but she wasn't there. Someone said she was out shopping for a ring. Oh, no. She was already engaged, though. My. DJ, listen. Soon we're gonna have to start evacuating folks from the city. Nowhere is safe. A wild goose chase right now. Hold on. That's Casper's fiance. Don't anxiety listen to my show. It just cannot be good. I have to. My dad won't pick up. Billy left work to ring shop. I told her not to worry about it. We couldn't afford... Oh, God. I know where she likes to shop. Tell him to go to Rosalina's Jewelry on 23rd. Make a joke. Not sponsored. Amina, you got all that? I got it. We're a little busy, but it's on the list. Ask the listeners for Lauren love. Listeners, send Lauren your love. We know it's going to be alright, huh? Lauren? Can I get a little something to fill the air? Sorry. My neighbor was texting. He, he's driving his company's bus out of the city, and he's bringing everyone he can. Right, so there's a time limit on saving Billy. It leaves in 20 minutes. There's no way they can get to her by then. I know. But this is your only way to leave, isn't it? Maybe Billy and I can find another. It isn't so bad where I am. Put the choice on me. You're making me choose for you. I can hear it in your voice. Don't try to deny it. I just feel sick. Wait for Billy. Anyone in my audiences know if any American soldiers died listening to Fireside Jacks? In World War II, 
FDR did these radio addresses to talk the nation through shit. But if you had fireside chats, you wouldn't have been. Assassinate? <laughs> Impeached. Impeached. We're not gonna die. We'll see. You are staying put, Lauren. If that's still a feeling. That's that? Yep. Call it a vigil. My electricity went out. I've already got candles. What do I do if she doesn't come home? Don't talk that way. We're all thinking it. Denied. You've taken a survey with everyone listening? It hadn't even crossed my mind. DJ? I had your service. It's time to fly. Why doesn't this feel selfless? She's overthinking it. Because you're overthinking it. I had a tag on my old show. Sit down, shut up, and let the song play. What was your old show? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> sure, it uh, does. Reveal you were fired. I was fired. That's the story? Can you worry about your fiancé? <laughs> yes, easily. Sorry, just lots of memories I don't want to remember. You know, if that thing moved closer, Did it'd probably burn up the planet. One of many people I let down. I looked back at their apartment window and they were watching me leave. Sometimes I think about stuff I did that's a lot worse, just to cover that up. Hey, whatever it was, I forgive you. I'll try it. I think that's calls. our time taking calls. We'll hear from you more later, Lauren. Wait, what? <laughs> We're live on Smack Local. Aside, please save me from myself. This is, you know, this game's long, I tell you. Hey, nice to see you too. But please, just call me Amina. No choose alone. Comment on me. Seem awfully cheery today, Amina. Yep, calling for fun on my day off. Just let me ramble a bit. Sounds good to me. I get paid the same to do less work. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get paid to talk. I actually wanted to be a comedian when I was a kid. I talked a lot. I think I annoyed your buddy Jim last time by blabbering too much. Really? Jim never actually gets mad. If he seemed annoyed, he was probably just stressed. Nah, don't worry. Not everyone appreciates my jokes. Although they're not always funny. So we did pretty good with Jim. I was never actually that good at making jokes either. Is that why you didn't become a comedian? <laughs> kind of. I just didn't think being a comedian would have helped anyone. Damn, you're really out here attacking me. But it's different <laughs> with you. People have fun listening to your shows. That's the important part. I didn't start gigs because I thought I'd be good at them. It was just because I wanted to. Yeah, I know I'm allowed to do things just because, but... That's always felt off. Uh, how to say... It's like... I feel weird if I'm not doing stuff for other people's benefit, you know? Yeah. That's why I joined the fire department. Understandable. Actually, I don't know. Because you're a much better person than I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm just helping others to feel good about myself. 
Maybe, but doesn't that just mean helping people is important to you on a fundamental level? Wise words, oh, I tell you, wise sorry, words. I didn't come here for an existential crisis. Right, right. Let me professionally change the subject. Hmm. Commend her hard work. It must be pretty tough working on the force, though. I think I speak for all the listeners when I say thank you. Y'all are gonna make me blush. Yeah, it's hard, but life's hard. Just take it one breath at a time, as my grandpa used to say. So my Smart grandpa. Up. We could all use a little bit of that wisdom. Well, thanks for entertaining me, DJ. I know I kind of popped in without warning. Nah, my pleasure. Thanks for entertaining me. Actually, do you mind if I ask uh, a weird question? <laughs> Good weird or He's bad always, weird. you know, a peer. Neutral. They say they got and then they don't. Basically, a coworker of mine... Okay, I'll be honest. Things have been really rough. There... There have been a lot of casualties. We're all taking it badly, but... Amina, are you alright? I mean, it, it's just how things are. I'm holding it together. But my coworker... It's been especially bad for them. I asked them what was wrong, and they told me that they wanted to quit the force. How does she feel? How do you feel about them wanting to quit? To be honest, I was a little mad at first. Like, how can they quit at a time like this? But that's self-centered of me. People get burnt out, and my friend is scared for their family. This gem. Understandable. Yeah, Jim's the only one that was scared about their family. They actually feel the same way I do. They can't bring themselves to resign when we're in a crisis. They asked me for advice, but I didn't know what to say. Life really sucks. So I'm grabbing a bag right now. There's just... There's no good choice here. Damn right. God, what am I supposed to say to that? Humanity or your family? I'm sorry for dumping this on you, but I really need help. Hmm. Co-worker should say. What would the consequences be if your co-worker quit? It'd be rough. They're one of our best. The team might not survive without them. Yeah. Exactly. The situation is terrible, but at the end of the day, we need firefighters. They're making a sacrifice. Sacrifices need to be made. And it sounds like your friend is okay with being the one making them. <sighs> yeah, I get it. You've given me a lot to think about. I tried. Take my unprofessional thoughts with a pound of salt. <laughs> well, I still haven't eaten today yet, so I gotta go. Bye, DJ. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. Wait, one last thing, DJ. You know what you were telling me about helping people being important to me on a fundamental level? Yeah. How much you've helped me, my friend, and even the fire department. I think helping people is important to you, too. Well, listeners, what do you think? Personally, I think she just wants everyone to be as good as she is. <laughs> Too bad it's not true. Uh, I'll poop. Fire department. State your emergency. Captain, I spotted another two fires. It looks like they're pretty close together. 
One's at the Sydney Museum Center. The other's at Huron Mills Mall. Understood. What's the severity? The museum, it's... It's huge. I've never seen anything like it. The entire roof's ablaze, and it's spreading to other buildings. I don't think you could even get close without getting burnt. The mall doesn't look as dangerous, but... Oh my god. I can see people there. Why would you go shopping during the apocalypse? Idiots. <laughs> oh, wait. I'll go with the mall. Understood. Folks, I'm never gonna get a break, am I? The reason why I went with mall is that there's people there, but there's not too many people at a museum, though it is bad. Also, I'm pretty sure this keeps moving along, but I'm not too sure. Check out that restaurant. Hope you liked that last song. We're still live and still taking calls. We're live with Smack Local. This is DJ. Please say... Hey. Can I request a song? You don't need help or anything? You're a radio DJ, right? Come on. It's the end of the world. I want something to dance to. Okay. You know what? I just cannot get to uh, go up or down. Beach zombie. Such a... Can I ask you something? I can ask you something, right? Yeah. That's part of the gig. Last time I checked, being a dispatcher isn't part of the job description. Why are you doing this? I don't talk about myself on the air. Throw me a bone, DJ. I'm trying to make some good radio. Only thing I can do. To be honest. It's the only thing I can really do here. I'm trapped. So the show must go on? It's the nice way to go before the sun burns everything to the ground. <laughs> okay. If that's what you think. You know, I've been grilled by you for a couple minutes, but I never got your name. It's Lyra. Alright, Lyra. Time to answer some of my questions. What are her plans? Ask about her outlook. You don't seem bothered by our impending doom. Everyone's scared, but you aren't. Not everything has to be so doom and gloom. When everything went to shit, I didn't feel any different. Sounds like a good outlook to have. What? Not gonna tell me that I lack empathy? Mm. World's burning down. No one knows what's going on. Being calm about it's the only thing we can do. You aren't trying to make fun of me? I'm 100% serious. If everyone calls in panicking, that's going to make the people listening do the same. You're helping everyone keep calm. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Lyra, we should be going somewhere with this. There's one thing I'm currently missing. And that is? What do you want? I know you didn't just call to talk. What do you mean? I just wanted to listen to the song. That's not what I meant. I'm genuinely trying to help here. Hello? You know, I'm gonna go now. I think I'll take a look at that sun again. You're not gonna answer my question? I'll leave my answer for later. You plan on calling back then? If the feelings come to me again, sure. I might. My buddy Lieutenant McGrit, here to save the world from fires, and me from myself. My buddy Lieutenant McGrit, here to save the world from fires, and me from myself. DJ, you seem well. Do you have a moment? Yeah, yeah. Back to looking for fires, right? 
if you don't mind. Of course not. Just let me get settled. Shit. It's happening again. Fire in the inner city. Where? I'm blind over here. Near the parrot. It's near the buildings, just beyond the park. Understood. Platoon A is already in the area. I'll contact them immediately. Phew. Looks like your buddy's got there all right. It's gone now. Thank God. Great work, DJ. If you don't mind, please keep watch for a little longer. Sure. Of course. It looks so like the traditional hey, uh, Japanese art. <laughs> I'm not trying to pry too much, but it's been eaten away at me. Give it a stop. Have you given any more thought to what we last talked about? I thought you might ask about that. It was a tough call, but... I think the last dispatch really put things into perspective for me. I'm staying with the fire department. My wife isn't too happy with the decision, but she understands. Jason, he cried. And I would be lying if I said it didn't hurt. But he said he'd try to be strong, like Dad is. That's good. Be happy for him. Wish I had a family like yours. I hate to say it, but I wish I had people like your family in my life. Indeed. I'm so blessed to have them. I feel more at peace than I have in a long time. And thank you for all your assistance, DJ. They span me well, right I don't know around. About that. <laughs> but sure. Glad to help. Looks like even the apocalypse is happy for you. Because I haven't even seen another fire. Are you sure? By this point, I think I've got enough experience to know what I'm talking about. It's important to be sure. But if there isn't anything else to report, I should head out. One of the trucks has been having issues again. Of course. Don't let me stop you. But Jim... Seriously. I'm here if you need needs help. If you ever need help, feel free to give me a call. I'm always here to lend an ear and give bad advice. <laughs> uh, Thank you, DJ. I really Oh, we've been playing this game for a little while. You're a good friend. I need to end it soon. Keep door closed. Take care, Jim. At all Talk times. Don't not prop open. Friend, huh? It's been a long time since someone called me that. But you know what? It doesn't sound so bad. And now we're back in the air. Nope. I cannot leave the room without, you know, someone calling. So much for a family, man. Welcome to the show, Lyra. I haven't heard from you in a while. You told him to abandon his family for a job. Isn't that a bit cold-hearted? Defend He's that. out there saving lives. He's a hero. Do we need heroes right now? Yeah, yeah we do. Jim doesn't need to prove himself to you. I gave them my advice, but he decided to do what was best. Fine. All right, then let me ask you this, because I've been wondering. Shoot. Sure. Do you regret anything? Anything you wished you did? Yeah. Finish my bucket list. I have a bucket list. Like, climb Mount Everest. You're Here's joking. A... That's so generic. I'm serious. Who wouldn't have regrets right now? I asked you specifically. No, there's, 
There's details. a traffic, you know, line up the Mount Everest now. People always talk about it being a life-changing experience and a challenge to climb. Plus, it's a nice story to tell. I'll admit the bragging rights are pretty cool. Shame we'll never see snow anymore. At least you don't have to deal with the line to get to the top. <laughs> that's what I was referencing. Or the trash. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. Huh. Are you usually this rude to people? It's a hard time right now. That doesn't mean you have to act this way to other people. What did I even do to you? I don't owe you anything. Be empathetic. Whatever I did to rub you the wrong way, I'm sorry. WBXR. One year ago. Do you remember? Look, I... I don't think this is the right time. This is the perfect time, actually. I'm just the host here. It's about my listeners. Stop dodging the question. You said you remember every caller, right? I want you to say what happened. Admit. We had a segment where we would cold call randos and try to convince them to start a fight. Most of the time it didn't work. It made people tune in for it, so why the hell not? And one day someone decided to do it. And someone got hurt. Badly. Everyone refused to tell me who it was, but it was you, Lyra, wasn't it? I'm sure you knew that I was in the hospital for a bit, and I'm fine now. But I bet you didn't know that I was on the mend for months after that. And I couldn't do my job, so they let me go. I had no one to help me. Hmm. Do you know how much I hate you? I mean, who the hell approved that radio segment? The show was a mistake. I was stupid, okay? That segment was terrible. What else can I say? I wanted to make sure I got back at you. I wanted you to feel like shit for what you did. Apologetic. What do you want me to say to you then? Do you want me to apologize to you? I'm glad you admitted it, DJ. I got my satisfaction. I can die happy. Oh, uh, some tough stuff there. Hey, y'all. Wanted to check in. Lots of alluding to things going around. Lots of, uh, behind the scenes drama. So you're sitting there like, man, is DJ going to tell us the story, right? Am I going to tell you the story? Am I going to tell you the story? Are you? Yeah. I need you to know. Because since that news cycle ended, everyone stopped shitting on me. And I can't. I... I did something bad. Why does everyone else just move on? On my old show, we had this stupid segment called High Blood Crush Lords or some shit. Basically, we'd cold call randos and try to get them to start a fight. Explain yourself. This job. I was hurting for money. My partner was paying all our rent. It was mostly the station's idea. Um, I hadn't gotten anyone to fight yet, but I call. This girl picks up. Bad sign. Girls who listen to radio listen to true crime. 
I didn't recognize her voice tonight, but Lyra was our first caller to get in a real fight. Except blame. Because I told her to. Be a human being. The world's ending. They put her in a hospital with a cracked skull. I made the 911 call. Station wanted me to take the blame. So I did. They fired me. Career over. Try. I looked at the x-rays. They were... No. I, I can't. Boom. Thanks for letting me... Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, I'll forget. Finally, I can sit. No! Oh, the phone call! No! <laughs> New caller. We're live on Smack Local with your host, BJ. Caller, please save me from myself. I'm reading this from a paper because I've got a bad concussion. We have firefighters. Tell us where you are. I don't know. I can't remember numbers. I'm gonna die. Be sincere. You haven't been around us long. We ain't giving up yet. It's not giving up. It's just putting things in order. A woman here knows your number. I can't remember numbers. Not even hers, but... But the woman here said she called in. Hers? She? The woman here with me, in the jewelry store. Wait. Billy Casper. Please, just tell Lauren. She's I'm not telling her shit. When you can say it yourself. Lauren, you there, babe? What's wrong? Do you know something about... Hi, love. Oh my god. Billy! Yeah. Hey, good. Tell her where you are, Lauren. I'm at home. Waiting for you. No. Don't wait. Get out. Don't. We we thought... DJ said we should stay. I need to finish. Finish what? Is she alright? Come for Billy. Billy. Just think about Lauren and how you'll be safe soon. Got the radio number from a woman listening for the firefighters. Her mother's house. Not on fire. You're doing good, DJ. Something fell on us and we're stuck. I'm worried that something might fall on me soon. Just wanted to tell Lauren. Hey. Hey, no, don't talk like that. That's not allowed. The love of my life. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to be good enough. I couldn't even get a ring. Firefighters are on the way. Get them close. Don't let Billy. Don't let. Don't let Billy let go. Don't let Billy let go. Nobody dies sorry but me. There's nothing that we can do. Marry me. I'm doing my best. No. She's saying right now. I want to be together. Grab a ring, baby. I'm with you forever. DJ, don't take too long on the ceremony. Me? <laughs> they don't want you. And everyone else would be better. Call anyone. I think even whatever 911 operator answers your call would be a better pick. My dad won't answer my calls. Billy is trapped in rubble just... I want to have a wedding, and I want someone to remember I was married. Come okay. on. <laughs> it's good radio. Yes, marry them. Only because I already got ordained for a bit. Count yourselves lucky I used to have a stupid segment. I don't know how much longer I have, so... You're gonna be okay, Billy. The firefighters are on the way. 
but I have an outline of a non-denominational wedding ready on my phone. Let's get married. Okay, darling? Mm-hmm. Okay. You both have your vows? This is sad. Memorized. Concussion. <laughs> Good enough. Do the procession. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today because there's nowhere else we can be. And because it's good enough. To celebrate Lauren Hill and Billy Casper, Rebel Wives. Let's see what we can do about a happy ending, huh? Do a reading. Next is readings. I'm not up on my Shakespeare or... If I have not spoken, it is because I am afraid I will wake from this dream. Almost. You don't like Austin. You do. Billy, my friend. Are there any rings spilled on the ground? Ow, uh, got one. Be careful. Hurry, I'm bleeding. Lauren Hill, do you take Billy Casper to be your lawfully wedded wife? In sickness and health. Billy Casper. Till death do us part. Your vows. I want to get to the I do's. They're too long. Just, what do you promise? Everything. Ditto. Lord. I do. But. I do. Then I pronounce you woman and wife. You may now. Billy, they're here. Can you yell for them, honey? I don't. Help! Help! I love you! She's alright. They're there. They'll find her. This is still the best day of my life. That's good. Uh, call me. Fuck this. Amina, if you don't... We got her, you bitch. Calm down. <laughs> you... She's alright. Two goddamn seconds. We're getting her away from the building now. Tell her wife. Okay. I'm here. Well, your girl's okay. I gotta go. <laughs> you hear that, Lauren? Lauren? Thank you, DJ. Don't deflect. She's gonna be fine. Hang up. Guess I'm gonna eat. Wait for Billy. It could be a while. You all right? My wife's coming home from work. What could be better? Ah. Really? Another call? What's what do you want, Lyra? Didn't you get what you wanted? Please don't make it harder than it is. Want to clarify that? You clearly aren't a dick anymore. I've seen people think only about themselves out there. You help people when things went to shit, but in the end, I still hear the radio host that put me in the hospital. I can't see past that. I still hate you. Be accountable. How can I make it up to you? Why does my forgiveness matter so much, DJ? You didn't even know I existed until I called you. I can help you now, Lyra. You can't make everyone happy. You, out of all people, should know this. Just... be that radio host helping people at the end of the world. I think this conversation is over. We can go back to your usual programming. Can you play me a song? Are you sure? I'm still here for you. Just... Play me a song. Bye, DJ. I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, folks, I guess this is it. The end of the show. The end of the world. All that jazz.
This is it. Feels kind of anticlimactic, huh? Definitely wasn't the bang I imagined I'd go out with. Shouldn't complain. I guess I shouldn't complain. I succeeded, didn't I? I did the best that I could. I know I did. But I mean... That doesn't mean I'm okay with all this. And can you blame me? I guess... I don't want things to end here, but... <laughs> well, what am I gonna do about it now? <coughs> Come on, DJ. We have to give a proper sign-off. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Seems my time is running out for today. And in all my wisdom, I'll leave you with this, listeners. Pretty sure, but yeah. We don't know what's going to happen next for any of us. Nothing makes sense anymore, and you know, that's all right. All we know is what's happening right here and right now. So make the most of what we have now. Should have read that song last over there. That would have been so interesting. Hug your loved ones. Help who you can out. <laughs> Run a radio show. Just appreciate the little things that we have control over. Uh. That's it, man. That's everything I have. Let's do one last unscheduled caller section, huh? Smack local. Open. Call DJ for rescue. Guys, guys, please. <laughs> Not all at once. I can take your calls, though. I can... I can... <sighs> Fine. I guess I dug my own grave on that one. Chicky, sign off. And with that... I'm feeling saved, listeners. At least for tonight. Au revoir. One last song for the goal. Oh my god. I just imagine it's like one of the fallout ones that's just repeating over and over and over again. Oh, it's, it's my hole that I created. All that I put on there. You know what? It was a sad ending. Snow runners. Oh, show runners. You know what? It was kind of sad, but it was also a good ending at the same time, I tell you. You know what? I would recommend playing the game for yourself, eh? I don't know what other options you could pick. But you could probably be the most horrible DJ ever, or the best DJ ever. You know, I like all the little... Uh, oh, look, there's Boba. That's some good stuff. I like the chocolate Boba. Like, you know, the chocolate ball one instead of the... You know, other... Squishy ball one. Like the look. No, there's a log. No, I'm a stump. Why did they chop? They, they're the ones who took my. <laughs> they're the ones who took the rest of the. Okay, my VTuber character. <laughs> uh. You know that what? There would be music playing here, but I turned off the music, so. You know what? I think that was actually quite, you know, fun game to play through. I would uh, recommend trying the game out for yourself. I will link it down in the description down below. I had this game installed for, I think it was around the time of uh, my early ear infection. So like, about six days ago, or maybe five days ago that I've had it installed. Maybe a little bit longer, who knows. 
and I was, you know, getting around to playing it at some point. But I decided, you know what, we might as well play it today, and that's what I did. Today, the 12th of September 2023. Last broadcast. Ah. Uh, you know what, that was a great game. This was a great game, I tell you. This was a great game. I'm gonna get a screenshot there. Well, actually, I'll do that, and then do that. And then I'll use that for the thumbnail. Don't tell anyone. Shh. <laughs> Okay, have a nice day, safe, hope this apple, maybe even some more shoes, need to give the vitamins, very important, and bye bye, see you next time, bye bye, see you, bye!